And Steve, do you see any merit to this policy? Well, look, a free and open trade is very important to all markets and to our country. But we only have about 4% of the world's population and yet 25% of the world's GDP. In order to grow our economy and grow jobs in this country, we need fair and open trade. The problem is the fair part. We are the most open market in the world, and yet all other nations have tariffs, including our allies in China. So the problem is when you go to the negotiating table and you have nothing to trade, uh, the issue is that, uh, of course, they can say no. So I think what the strategy is here is to put the tariffs mm. on in order to go back to the table and then hopefully negotiate them all away and have fairer trade. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people agree with you, Steve, that this is a problem, that we have been treated unfairly on trade, that we have seen China steal intellectual property and unfairly put tariffs on U.S. goods. The question, though, Steve, is the president going about it the right way? Is this really going to lead to China coming to the negotiating table and making concessions? Yeah, it's unconventional for sure, and John will say that and has said that. It's not the way typically it's done. But you know, on the other hand, if you do go to the table and you have no tariffs and you have completely open trade and they have them and you say, please open your markets, they can say no. So I think that the strategy here, I don't know whether it's right. I think the strategy, though, is to put the tariffs on and say, okay, now we both have tariffs. Why don't we both get rid of them? Uh, the question is whether that's going to work with these negotiations. John, can you put this in context for us in terms of where the U.S.-China relationship you think now stands? I mean, this is an extraordinary week in which we had a summit with North Korea. China was left out of that. And here we are now with President Trump slapping tariffs on China after, after the two sides have been talking. Well, we're, we're trashing our allies this week. We're promoting dictators. Uh, around the world, and we're in the middle of a trade war. It doesn't look so good to me. The, uh, uh, the facts are just not correct. We don't have no tariffs. We don't have totally free trade. Do you, do you know what the chicken tariff is? The chicken tariff is a 25% tariff on importing pickup trucks that's been on the books for the U.S. since 1965. There are tariffs all over the place, and non-tariff trade restrictions, too. <clears throat> I'm totally in favor of open and free markets. I'm totally in favor of rule of law and protecting property. I've been in China enough to know that there are problems in China that we need to solve. But this is a, a very bad way to go about it. And the truth is, balancing the trade account is a really dumb policy goal. You know, w w we sell services as well as things on containers on ships. We also take in investments and we invest in other countries. If other countries invest here, that automatically creates a trade deficit in goods. That doesn't mean it's bad. Trade deficits uh, are things that ought to be viewed more broadly. Okay. This year, China's trade deficit, current account, goods and services, is 0% of GDP, zero. Hey, Steve, I know you, you're not a big fan, but you at least understand these, these uh, tariffs and the needs for them. So my question is, and you sort of alluded to this earlier, what's next? What's the next step? Okay, let's assume we get past this bluff period and they actually do impose the tariffs on both sides. Then what? It's, yeah, it's a very interesting question because, you know, the way they're going about it, you know, they are playing hardball here. And if we, we do damage to... Uh, to these relationships and we end up with nothing, we'll end up further back. But sometimes, like in the game of soccer, in order to reset the play, you have to actually kick the ball backwards and then uh, you know, run your play forwards again. It, maybe it's a bad metaphor, but I think that that's the strategy here. It is unconventional and it's, uh, and it's unproven. So it, I think the world is watching to see whether this is just gamesmanship. You know, and, and the problem with gamesmanship is you can't just say, really, you, know, you can't whisper to the side and say, no, I'm just kidding, or you know, watch, this is just a negotiating ploy. You have to go in with a, with a straight face and, and, and try to make it happen. Uh, and I, I think all business people are hoping it does happen because you know, the open and fair trade is yeah. important for our economy. John, just trying to figure out the market implications of all of this. You know, clearly the market doesn't no. like tariffs, but it's not like there's some major freak out about global growth. And we talk to a lot of investors and strategists and economists here on CNBC, and they say, well, they might not approve of this. It doesn't look like it's going to make a big economic dent in terms of global growth or in terms of the U.S. economy. When does that change? How far does that have to escalate to change? 
Well, trade wars take a while before they actually hit uh, global growth. The U.S. has about $20 trillion worth of production a year, uh, goods and services uh, and uh, other things. And we have $300 trillion worth of assets that are out there every day. So this is a very rich uh, country and a very big uh, economy. So that takes a while. But uh, uh, t uh, this is not something where people are just <clears throat> bluffing. The tariffs have already gone into effect on some things and, and shortly will on others. It is not possible for a, a world leader to have tariffs slapped on them in this unilateral way without responding in kind, as we saw from the G7 meetings last week, or should I say the G6.5 meetings last week. <laughs> China will have to retaliate. Trump has already announced he's going to then impose more tariffs. What do you think they're going to do after that? This is not a happy story. I would be happy if John. everybody's just bluffing and playing games, but this is a trade war. This is not a pretend trade war. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.